Today we're making three different one-pot pastas, which is perfect for any lazy weeknights when you want a delicious and quick meal, minus having to do a load of dishes. The full breakdown to all of these recipes, as always, can be found on the blog, and those links are in the description box below. I just also wanted to let you know that we always provide a free downloadable PDF of our recipes too. That way you can save it for later or print it or refer to it on your tablet or phone while you're cooking in the kitchen. And thank you to Wix for partnering with us on today's video. That's the platform that we use to create and now host the Pickup Limes website, but I'm gonna chat more about them at the end. For now, let's get started on making some pasta. First, we're gonna be making a creamy mushroom pasta that's gonna blow you away. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it does sound like an unusual combination of ingredients, but everything works so incredibly well together. So we're gonna begin by chopping two large shallots. You can use a yellow or a red onion here if you'd prefer. And I like this pasta nice and garlicky, so we're gonna be finely mincing six cloves of garlic, and we'll coarsely chop one fresh red chili as well. When that's done, we're going to prep four cups worth of mushrooms. Here I'm using a mix of cremini mushrooms, which I'm gonna thinly slice, and oyster mushrooms, which can be easily torn into little strips. Oyster mushrooms give a meaty texture and appearance once it's cooked. It's really interesting to try if you haven't already, but any mushrooms will work here. Finally, I'm gonna coarsely chop a quarter of a cup worth of sun-dried tomatoes that I got from a jar. Now to a large pot on medium high heat, we're gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil, and when it's hot, you can add the onions, garlic, and chili all at once. Then give it a stir, let it cook for a few minutes, adding a splash of water as needed to deglaze the pan. Then we're gonna add all of the following ingredients to the pot all at once. Two vegetable bouillon cubes, two cups of boiling water, one can of coconut milk. Here I'm using full fat for extra creaminess, but light fat works great as well. We're gonna add in four cups of dry pasta. Here we're using fusilli, and then in go the mushrooms. So for us, that's the cremini and the oyster mushrooms. Two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, one tablespoon of sodium reduced soy sauce, a teaspoon of paprika powder, and the sun-dried tomatoes, and some freshly cracked black pepper. Then give it all a mix. You wanna bring it to a boil, then reduce to a simmer and partially cover it with the lid. You'll need to check on the pasta, stirring it occasionally to prevent things from sticking to the bottom. And when the pasta is al dente, after about 15 minutes, you can add in a couple of big handfuls of spinach. Once you stir it in, you're gonna see the spinach reduce in volume, the pasta is gonna be coated in this heavenly cream sauce, and now the pasta is ready to enjoy. So scoop it up into some bowls and prepare to be wowed. For the garnish, I've got a little tip. If you have fresh basil, stack the basil leaves on top of each other, roll them up, and then thinly slice them with a knife. You're gonna be left with these beautiful, evenly sliced little ribbons, so you can garnish your pasta with it, and if you'd like, squeeze some fresh lemon juice on top too. Like I said, I know it sounds like a strange thing that we've used coconut milk to give this sauce its creamy taste and texture, but I really feel like you can't even taste it in there. And it just reminds me of these cream-based pastas I used to really enjoy before becoming plant-based. I think you're just gonna need to give it a try to see what I mean. It's absolutely incredible. Next up, we're gonna be making a cross between a white and a red sauce pasta, which is the rosé. It's ultra creamy and flavorful. So to begin, we're gonna dice one medium onion and mince four cloves of garlic. To a pot on medium high heat, we're gonna add in some oil, along with the onion and garlic, two vegetable bouillon cubes, and a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Then we're gonna stir it up and cook it for a couple of minutes, just until the onions are nicely translucent. To the pot, we're gonna add three cups of pasta. Here we're using penne, a cup and a half of boiling water, three cups of tomato sauce, three tablespoons of nutritional yeast, and the secret ingredient to making the sauce nice and creamy, three quarters of a cup of hummus. Then we're gonna give the sauce a mix, let it come to a boil, reduce it to a simmer, and partially cover it with a lid, occasionally stopping to stir it to prevent any burning. While this all cooks, we're gonna cut a zucchini into thin half moons by first cutting the zucchini in half and then thinly slicing it. Then we're gonna coarsely chop a couple roasted red bell peppers that we got from a jar, which is gonna give this pasta a lovely flavor, but a single raw red bell pepper will work here too. And one of my favorites, we're gonna be chopping up half of a cup of artichokes that we got from a jar. Finally, we're gonna be using a plant-based creamer. Now we're using an almond-based one, but they've got loads at grocery stores these days. There's soy and oat and coconut-based creamers. If you can't find either of these, it's not a problem. Just use any plant-based milk that you've got. 
So when the pasta has cooked for about 10 minutes or so, we're gonna add in three quarters of a cup of the plant-based creamer. Then we're gonna add in the zucchini, the roasted bell peppers, and the artichoke, giving it a stir and letting it cook for another five to eight minutes or so until the zucchini is tender and the pasta is al dente. When the pot has been removed from the heat, you can add in a handful of fresh arugula, stir it in, and now it's time to plate it up. I like to serve this pasta with some extra fresh arugula on top with a sprinkle of roasted pine nuts. It's one of those dishes that looks sophisticated and fancy, but it really is super easy to make. It's perfect for those nights when you also can't choose if you want a cream sauce or a red sauce pasta, so then rosé it is. For the last recipe, we're gonna be making a classic tomato pasta. It's a winner every time. So we're gonna begin by chopping one medium onion and mincing four cloves of garlic. Here we've got two cups of cherry tomatoes that we're going to cut in half, and a third a cup of sun-dried tomatoes that we're gonna coarsely chop. We're then going to drain and rinse a jar or can of cooked brown lentils. To a large pot on medium-high heat, add some oil, and when it's hot, we can add the onion and garlic, one vegetable bouillon cube, a teaspoon of Italian spice, and half a teaspoon of chili flakes. We're gonna cook this for a couple of minutes, adding a splash of water as needed to deglaze the pan. And then all at once, we're going to add in a whole jar, or about three cups worth of pasta sauce, two cups of boiling water, a handful or 300 grams worth of spaghetti, the cherry tomatoes and sun-dried tomatoes, a cup and a half's worth of cooked lentils, and a tablespoon of capers. It's just gonna take a minute for the spaghetti to soften into the sauce. You can gently push it down with your hands to give it some help, and then let it come to a boil, reduce it to a simmer, and partially cover it with a lid. We're gonna to wanna to let this cook for about 10 minutes or until the pasta is al dente. At the very end, we're gonna add in half of a cup of olives and a couple of handfuls of spinach and give it a stir. When the spinach has softened, the pasta is ready to be enjoyed. It's a dish that comes together quickly and easily, making it perfect for any weeknight dinner. Once you've generously served yourself some pasta, sprinkle on a bit of fresh basil for garnish. Make a bigger batch, store it in the fridge, and enjoy it as leftovers for lunch or dinner in the next days. It's a classic, hearty, and comforting dish. I don't know if I've ever shared this before, but when I was younger, I worked at a few different restaurants, and one of them was a place called the Old Spaghetti Factory, and they served these massive portions of pasta. And this video kind of feels like an ode to those good old days. So I hope you enjoyed some of these recipes that we've shared with you today. If you did, it always really helps to show your support when you give the video a thumbs up. And thank you again to Wix for partnering with us on today's video. It was actually three years ago this month that I decided to take the plunge and build a website all on my own, which is the Pickup Limes website that you now see, but to be completely honest, I was terrified at the idea of doing it by myself. I had no idea where to begin. And then a friend of mine told me about Wix. He said that I could create and customize a website all on my own without any coding or design experience. I could just drag and drop things where I wanted them, add pictures, text, or even videos really easily. And the best part of all, he said, is that it was completely free. So after a few weeks of working at it, the Pickup Limes website was already up and running. And anytime I need to customize things, I can do it all by myself. So if you've ever been interested in creating your own online presence, whether it's a website or a blog or an online store, I definitely recommend Wix. Again, it's completely free to try and for an unlimited amount of time. So check out the link in the description box below to learn more. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Heads up, there's a load of other kind of recipe videos like this coming your way as we go into the holiday season. If you do make any of the pastas, tag us on Instagram so that we can see. Thanks a lot for watching. Pick Up Lines signing off and we'll see you in the next video.